The Michigan Court of Appeals has shot down a complaint alleging Ottawa County commissioners violated the Open Meetings Act. Ottawa County's Corporate Counsel, Coleman Legal Group Attorney David Coleman says he's pleased by the court's unanimous decision. When they weren't even public officials. His firm adds this was an attempt to weaponize the legal system to attack duly elected officials for simply following through on their campaign promises. Coleman added that there were times when the commissioners talked as a group, whether on the campaign trail or over the phone. But were there times where two or three or four or someone might have been talking around the phone? Of course. I mean, that happens all the time. It happens right now with the board. You know, that there, as long as it's not a quorum of the board, then they're not subject to the Open Meetings Act. Nearly a handful of people from Ottawa County sued, alleging a majority of members supported by Ottawa Impact met privately after winning their election and before being sworn into office. Their attorney, Mark Brewer, adds that during that time, the board majority made decisions on how to run the county. They decided to hire and fire several people, abolish certain programs, and make certain very important policy decisions even before they took office. Brewer says they're considering an appeal to the Michigan Supreme Court. This decision opens the door to really massive evasions of the Open Meetings Act because now other public bodies can do exactly what the Ottawa County Commission did. Meet in secret, make secret decisions without any public input. On the first day of office, these commissioners overhauled the county government, closed the diversity, equity, and inclusion department, fired the county administrator, and hired John Gibbs to take over the role, granted a no-bid contract to the Coleman Legal Group to represent the county on legal counsel, attempted to demote the current health officer, and hired their pick for the role. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel and her team conducted an investigation earlier this year. Not long after that announcement, her office concluded the officials didn't violate the OMA. Michigan's constitution is crystal clear. You don't become an officer, a public official, until you take your oath of office and enter into the duties of your office. And so up until then, you're not a public official and all these laws and disclosures and all these sorts of things, none of that applies to you. Ottawa County is currently fighting three other lawsuits. So far, this case has cost the county $33,000. Reporting in studio, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.